Brothers and sisters, welcome to Coffee Conversations in Christ, where we have candid conversations about Catholicism in the world today with a cup of coffee in hand. Brothers and sisters, we talk about juxtaposition. Today, instead of meditating on the gospel, I'd like to talk about the responsorial psalms. Psalms because I'm from a fishing town and our patron saint is St. James, so today is a solemnity. And because it's a solemnity here, we celebrated that liturgy. And in the other church in our diocesan shrine, we celebrated the liturgy for the Sunday of Ordinary Time. And so I'd like to talk specifically about the responsorial psalms because there's an amazing juxtaposition that we find between the two. In the psalm for the Sunday of Ordinary Time, we read, The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. So there's this emphasis on the generous God. We read later in the Gospel for, uh, for today about the multiplication of the loaves. This is the prime example of the generosity of God, of God's ability to give. All that we ask Him for. God's ability to give everything that we need. But there is a sharp contrast between the reading for the Sunday and the reading for July 25. The psalm is, or rather the response for the psalm is, Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. It, it focuses on the suffering it focuses on the sacrifice that comes with being part of the kingdom of God. We read in the gospel for the celebration of St. James, the story of uh, St. James's mother, where she asks Jesus to put James and John on his right and on his left. And Jesus tells her that you don't know what you're asking for, that are, he asks them, are you ready to drink from the cup that I drink? And it is a cup of suffering. It is a cup of torment. It is a cup of pain. And St. James was ready. He died. He would be the first apostle to die. But because there is this beautiful juxtaposition, it makes us think about our own lives, about what we want from Christianity about what we really desire because modern Christianity is preoccupied with the first concept with the concept of a generous God it is a God that gives all that we need a God that provides and that's not a wrong uh, definition or that's not a wrong description of God because he is a generous father but there's this trend of claiming anything in the name of Jesus. I claim in the name of Jesus that I'll get that promotion or I'll get that car or, or I'll get that house. We have this focus on material things or even in spiritual things, even uh, just asking for things you'd think would help in the service of the Lord and you'd often not get them. And then you see people around you, people who are so far away from God they get everything they want. And you ask yourself, and you ask God, Lord, I've done everything. I've been praying for so long. I, I believe. I trust you. And uh, I've been serving you. I've been giving you my everything. Why can't you give this to me? Whatever this is I'm asking for, why can't you hand it over? And it makes you remember that he doesn't give what we want. When we read the gospel, it doesn't say He provides all we want. It says He provides all we need. And th that's a clear distinction. He gives us what we need even if it isn't what we want. The Lord has a hard time giving because to paraphrase George MacDonald, He only gives the best and man doesn't desire the best. Man doesn't want to accept the best because often the best isn't what's appealing. Often, the best is tears. That when you have tears, when you're crying, 
you have something to water your plants. You have something to make you grow. You have time not just to get happy with the little sprouts, but to wait for the tree to bloom. To wait for what you really deserve. This is a problem we often face. A problem we can't accept. That it isn't an instant meal. It isn't one snap and you get it. Our act of improvement in life comes with a perfect timing. It comes after suffering. After we have suffered enough, we have been broken enough to accept the gift with humility. To not boast of the gift, but to say, thank you for the grace of God. Brothers and sisters, we pray today for the ability to endure suffering, to endure hardship, to endure all of the doubt, all of the fear, all of the restlessness in our service of God and say, Lord, I am crying. Lord, I don't know what to do. Lord, this is what I want and you don't want to give it to me. But I trust in you because I sow with tears and I know that in you, I will reap with shouts of joy.